Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Porter. I'm going to give a brief talk today about either stretching for mental health or about values. I'm not sure which one. So if you please shout at the screen and tell me what your vote is, I will tabulate and decide which I'm already hearing that talking about values is a lot more important to the majority of you today. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Values. Let's start off with the idea that you are absolute. What does that mean? That means in my view, you are non-negotiable. You are an entity, a living thing that is undeniable, unjudgeable, that sort of thing. You are who you are and you're a hundred percent valuable and valid and um, lovable from the moment you're on the planet, uh, perhaps until the moment you die, because nobody knows what happens after that. Nobody, nobody. And that's what my main point is. Besides the fact that you are absolute, nobody knows what the appropriate and perfect set of values on this planet and in this life are. But we operate like we do. We operate like we had it told to us or we learned it through life's lessons and that kind of thing. But that doesn't account for the fact that no matter who you are, um, you're going to disagree somewhat with every single person you ever meet on your values. And even if you believe they were handed down to you by a brilliant culture, um, th you're still going to wind up having differences in your value system with that culture that handed it down from you. Now, when we were young, when we were kids, we did. We got all kinds of things handed down to us by the words and actions of the people around us, our parents, the rest of the people in our uh, social area, school, and everything like that. And we do. We're more passive when we're kids. So we imbibe values and we infer them from what we see happening. And we get them from the culture in the way that our culture passes things onto other. And all cultures have some sort of medium or several, a set of media that uh, is used to pass down. Uh, cultural values. But again, those media are inconsistent. They don't disagree because there's just enough mystery in life. Every value in your value list is going to have exceptions to it. And as you grow and learn, you're going to say, wow, my values aren't working for me here in this particular situation. Do I need to massage them a little bit, adapt them a little bit, replace them a lot bit or whatever. And that's not just you. That's everybody you've ever met. They don't know better than you. Now, if you're a child, I would suggest that yes, adults do have more trial and error behind them and more growing up and learning how to take over their own lives. Not all of them. This is my speech. This is a little bit about taking over your own life. But you can assume that if you're a child, there are adults out there that are doing a much, much better job of living according to their own values, consciously aware um, that they've had to create a lot of them for themselves and adapt many of them as life teaches them new lessons and that they're willing to take complete responsibility, not only for what they do, but for the values behind what they do. And this is what I'm going to encourage you to do, whether you're a child or an adult, because believe me, if you're an adult, I'm talking about this because you probably haven't done this. So ultimately, you develop your own honest sense of what is right and what is wrong to do. Also, values include what is valuable to you. What do you think is ultimately a good quest in life? What, do you, what are your hopes for the world? What are your hopes for yourself? What are, the, what are your hopes for the future of humankind? What are your hopes for your children? So you have to take responsibility and ownership for all that. What you can't guarantee, and I can't guarantee, and no one can guarantee, is even after you've become really good at this, and you're, own, you're your own king or queen, you're the sovereign of your own life and mind and decisions and values, you can't guarantee that good stuff is going to happen based on what you do. You can't guarantee that someone's going to treat you right. You can't guarantee that people are going to approve of you. But ultimately, won't, you won't need to do that because you will ultimately have self-approval of your own. Um, so I was going to try to keep this to a brief talk. Um, and I think I've gone about five minutes now. So I'm going to try to come up with a summary 
And that is what I'm telling you to do is not an instantaneous process. You may feel great hearing this. You may not even understand what I said because I didn't put it very well. Or you may feel, might feel like this is the most ridiculous thing. For example, you might have a Bible or a Quran or, um, you know, sutras or some other scripture that has been handed down for eons. I can guarantee you that no two people uh, uh, translate, uh, interpret those scriptures the same way. What's co most common thing among people who believe in the same religion, the most common thing there is disagreement. There's always disagreement between two people because we can't even agree on what the scriptures or even the laws of the land actually say. Those are in constant dispute because words don't work and um, because if there is an absolute good or bad, no one can know it for sure and claim it enough to be able to dictate it to other people. And you, I don't believe it's appropriate for you to abdicate your value system to someone who's going to dictate it to you. I think that's abdicating responsibility and choice. So you cannot take 100% responsibility or control of the outcomes you're going to get by living by your values, but you can change your values based on outcomes, but, and you can also take 100% responsibility for the values. And over time, this will develop a confidence in yourself and in the world and in your relationship with the world and your relationship with other people. And you will over time start to feel more solid as an entity. And again, though I said that we don't know and can't know the absolute right or wrong list of values um, handed down from whatever hands those things down, perhaps a God or the universal intelligent, what we can do is know that we each are absolute. Thank you.